What's up everybody, it's Mark from 403 Fauna. On today's video, I wanted to share with you my latest acquisition from Gray's Reptiles at the Pomona Reptile Super Show, this hurricane clown. And we'll also focus on the other hurricanes I have in my collection here at 403 Fauna. So I hope you kick back and listen in and enjoy the video. So last season, I did not hatch a male hurricane and I wanted to get a male hurricane into the collection to potentially breed to the female adult hurricane that I have that I got from Gray's Reptiles. And going into the Reptile Super Show, I didn't, I wasn't looking for anything in particular, but I met up with Gray from Gray's Reptiles. I'll link his information below. Be sure to check him out. And he had this hurricane clown already over 600 grams on the cusp of breeding and he gave me a deal I couldn't refuse so I bought him look at the head on that thing how incredible is that so now I have this male hurricane clown good thing about males is that you could intersperse them throughout the collection and having the ability to add more hurricane and all of them being head clown is just an incredible opportunity that I just could not pass up so man I cannot get over this head take a look at that like an X on top of the head. And look at the sides here. So hurricane clowns are incredibly beautiful by themselves, but you add them to other things and they just make everything better in the clown project. And I've got a bunch of head clown females that'll go for me this year and next year. And having hurricane in the mix just gives me a lot more options here of things that I can produce here at 403 Bono. So thank you so much to Gray from Gray's Reptiles. Again, check out his information I link below. Now I want to share with you the FEMA that I also purchased from him and some of the offspring that she produced for me this year. So I hope you stick around and enjoy this video. So here goes a female hurricane ball python I also purchased from Gray's Reptiles. This girl gave me a clutch last season. She's a 2020 model. I bought her in early 2021. So you can see classic hurricane. We do have some bicep poses somewhere around here, but incredibly beautiful. I love the hurricane. I love how, how dark they are and just how crazy they get the pattern. Now, as we're gonna see with some of her offspring that I'm gonna share with you next, I had plans to take her two years in a row to different desert ghost males, but she did a dual sired clutch and I got two of the snakes that I really wanted out of her. So this year she's actually going to go to my Het Monsoon. I can't wait to see what Hurricane with Het Monsoon looks like. You know, Het Monsoon really crazes out the pattern. So I'd imagine adding Hurricane with it is going to be an incredible snake. So let's take a look at a couple of her offspring that she produced last year. So here we have a pastel Enchi Hurricane Het Desert Ghost female that she produced last year. So I have two beautiful Desert Ghost males, a pastel Super Enchi Desert Ghost Het Hypo. So this guy's actually 50% possible Het Hypo as well but incredibly beautiful. I, I like the interaction that occurs here. And what's really stunning too is her, just the flaming she got on the sides here. Imagine if you add yellow belly to this mix, it's gonna just take it up another notch. This one's a fantastic eater. She's feisty too. Now I read that Hans Winner, he has this banding gene in his hurricane projects and I think this these two inherited it or at least this one did and a sibling because they came out really banded I know Enchi's banding as well but these ones came out with like just an extra touch of banding and the normal which I have since rehomed was incredibly banded as well so there might be another gene at play in here Pastel, Enchi, Hurricane, 
Het desert goes 50% possible het hypo female produced here at 403 fauna. Now let's take a look at a sibling of this girl. So the other male that I brought to that hurricane was a pinstripe desert ghost. And man, the pinstripe and hurricane made this incredible combo. I love the dorsal on this animal. It's just crazy with all these dots in there. It's like these hur the hurricane swirls are trying to show itself on the dorsal surface here. And their lateral portion, the sides here, also super crazy. So I wanted to take the pastel super edgy desert ghost head hypo to her and then the next year do the pinstripe and I changed my mind kind of towards the end of the season and threw the pinstripe in there and managed to get a dual sired clutch and that leaves me f the freedom to take the hurricane female into the monsoon project so still stoked about this dual sired clutch wish I had a male but they ended up both being females but the good thing is that some hurricane head desert ghosts, it's, they're available and they're really affordable. And I figure after this season, there might be some with some extra genes sprinkled in that I can add to this project. So worked out super well. Hey, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Have a great day, everyone. Take care and be safe.